Hello everybody, it's Storytime with Teacher Gabe. Today we're reading Snow Place Like Home, The Incredible Snow Kids of Marshmallow Mountain by Diana Manning and illustrated by Mike Esberg. All right, the Snow Kids of Marshmallow Mountain were meeting one troublesome Tuesday at two. They all gathered round in their clubhouse for its snowpack to try to describe what to do. Decide, not describe. Then Snow Joe, their president, rose to his feet. My dad says this place used to rock. There, there were tourists and festivals all through the year and stuff going on round the clock. Because Marshmallow Mountain was known as the home of the world's most incredible candy. So that's what they made in that empty old factory on Candy Cane Lane, added Andy. Hey, let's check it out, said the twins, Fridge and Midge. And all the snow kids agreed. They started out walking, all except Spike, who snowboarded there at top speed. Snow Joe explained as they walked, wandered inside, that's the candy contraption, you know? The famous machine that made all kinds of treats. But I guess it broke down years ago. I bet I could find some spare parts for that thing, said Spike, whose, idea, whose ideas were great. He knew all the junkyards that had the best stuff for the sculptures he liked to create. And I'll find the recipes, Freeze Louise offered. I bet they've been all tucked away in grandmother's cookbooks and family kitchens. I better start looking today. Fridge and Midge painted some colorful flyers their fine feather, feather, feathered friends could deliver, could deliver. Snow Joe and Andy sped off on their skates to tell all the snow folk downriver. Soon, everyone heard what the snow kids were doing. I tell you, those kids have got spunk. There hasn't been this much excitement in town since the candy contraption went clunk. Then Snow Joe announced it was time for a test. Each pulley and gear was in place. Each special ingredient poured in the hopper a huge, hopeful smile on each face. The wheel started whirring, the spoon started stirring, and out popped one peppermint kiss. They waited and waited till Freeze Louise shouted, It's got to go faster than this. Then Andy's quick brain made some quick calculations, and soon he adjusted each dial. Then Candy came, rock then candy came rocketing out by the dozens, creating a mountainous pile. The snow kids got busy with the boxing and bagging and tasting the sample or two. They labeled and loaded and made their deliveries and each had a fun job to do. The news got around that the snow kids had done it. They'd gotten things rolling again and Marshmallow Mountain was just as exciting as snow folk remembered back when. From Shiverdale Corners to Snowberry Falls, Chill Valley to Icicle Run, they came for a taste of that world-famous candy and stayed for the warm, friendly fun. And that was Snow Place Like Home. All right, next we have Dirt on My Shirt by Jeff Foxworthy and illustrated by Steve Bjorkman. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to make this one a little bigger. There we go. Dirt on my shirt. There's dirt on my shirt and leaves in my hair. There's mud on my boots, but I don't really care. Playing outside is so much fun to breathe the clean air and feel the warm sun. To stomp in a puddle or climb a big tree makes me quite happy. Just look and you'll see. Lost hat. I lost my favorite hat. I don't know where it's at. I looked around my room, I looked beneath the cat, I looked 
beside the bathtub, I look under the sink. I looked under the sink. Where did I leave my hat? I tried and tried to think. I thought I might have left it by the TV in the den. It wasn't there, so I went back and checked my room again. About to cry, I found my mom. I lost my hat, I said. She smiled and said, I found it. It's sitting on your head. Huh, he was wearing it the whole time. <laughs> Are we there yet? The Jenkins went out for a ride. How much longer, the children cried. A while, their dad said, with regret. We haven't left the driveway yet. Oh, no. Staring contest. I am staring at my cat. He doesn't bat an eye. Watching me, watching him, the seconds tick on by. Tears come to my eyes. I'm going to have to blink. He smiles a silly cat smile and then gives me a wink. Oh, I think that means the cat lost. I don't think you can wink in a staring contest. Missing. I had a tadpole in a bowl, but now he's disappeared. Where he swam, a frog now sits. I think it's kind of weird. Hide and seek. We caught a turtle down by the creek. Her shell is bumpy and gray. We don't mean to scare her, but when we get near her, her head and her legs go away. Bumblebee breakfast. Bumblebees like donut trees. The sugar's sweet and sticky, but do not eat the ones but do not eat the ones that fall, cause dirt and ants taste icky. Deer. An eye, then an ear. I think I see a deer hiding behind that big tree. A stomp, then a flash, and he's gone in a dash. I think the deer just saw me. Spare hair. Salamander sitting there. Salamander has no hair. His friend the bear has hair to spare, but bear won't share, and that's not fair. True love. Cows have horns. Cows have horns that don't go beep. Dads have sweaters, so do sheep. Turtles have tails that they can't see. I have you and you have me. Oh. Uninvited guests. Atop our bird feed, atop our bird feeders, a squirrel we call Peter, who's eating seeds meant for others, the birds are concerned because they just learned he's invited his sisters and brothers. Oh my, so many squirrels. Friends. Friends come in all colors and sizes and shapes. Friends share their jump ropes and friends share their grapes. They like the same jokes and they like the same shows. They lend you their ear and they lend you their clothes. A world without friends, I don't think I could bear it. Life is much better with good friends to share it. Choices. Pick a color, pick a number, pick a place to hide. Pick a flower, pick a pear, pick a horse to ride. Wishing and fishing. I was just wishing that I could go fishing. What I might catch, I don't know. A shark or a whale or a fish with no tail. No matter, cause I'll let them go. Noises. Boing, 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 goes a happy kangaroo. Boing, 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 goes a happy frog too. Yip, 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 goes a puppy up the street. Tweet, 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 goes our little parakeet. Ding-a-ling-ling, -ling goes the fire truck in a hurry. Wah, 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 goes my baby brother Murray. All those noises. Bubbles. I like to play and splash and sing when I take a bath. But it's the bubbles that I make my... It's the bubbles that I make myself that always make me laugh. Roly-poly. He rolled into a ball. I rolled him through the... Wait, hold on. I found a roly-poly. He rolled into a ball. I rolled him through the kitchen. I rolled him down the hall. I rolled him to the back porch. He did not want to play. I went out. I went inside for dinner, and my poly walked away. What do you see? What do you see when you look in the lake? A turtle, a tadpole, a fish, or a snake? What do you see when you look at the sky? A bird or the moon or a cloud p passing by? What do you see when you look at the ground? An acorn, an ant, 
or a worm squirming around? What do you see when you look up a tree, branches and leaves, a hive full of bees? Making friends. I have a best friend. His name's Tommy Huff. I think we're friends because we like to make stuff. He made a sandwich. Oh, we made a sandwich. We made a tree house. We made up a game called Squeak Like a Mouse. We made a tent out of chairs and a sheet. We made up a dance called Crazy Duck Feet. We made green jello and then made ourselves giggle by shaking our bowls and watching it wiggle. We, we made a go-kart that we didn't finish, and we made a face when we had to eat spinach. We made a mess, or so said my mother. We had a fight, but made up with each other. We made ourselves scared by telling ghost stories, and we had to sleep with his big sister, Lori. A friend makes you happy. A friend makes you better. A friend is a treasure to hold on to forever. Snakes Alive. I looked out the window and saw a snake crawling around in the yard. My dad tried to find it, but it got away. I don't think he looked very hard. Uncle Ed and Aunt Fufu. My Uncle Ed and Aunt Fufu are quite the crazy pair. He has big red cowboy boots and she has big red hair. They love to go out dancing. They really are a sight. He twirls her across the floor a blur of red and white. Their house is small and cozy. It smells like chocolate cake. Its shelves are filled with little dolls Aunt Fufu likes to make. Their dog is short and round. His name is Mr. Benny. They have a cat named Ralph. He's black and white and skinny. When it's time to say goodnight, they all climb into bed. Benny sleeps inside Ed's boots and Ralph on Fufu's head. Cousins. My cousin Boris sings in the chorus. He sings way off key and he's and he's loved. Wait, he sings way off key and he's loud. Not loud. Well, I mean sure, I'm sure he's loud. And he's loud. With the plug in his in each ear, his mom and dad cheer <laughs> for their son of whom they're so proud. My cousin Lizzie makes me so dizzy, she never stops spinning around. She once spun so long her balance was gone, and she couldn't get up off the ground. My cousin Lenny is real tall and skinny. It's hard, but he never complains. If, he's, if he grows much more, he won't fit through the door, and his hair won't get wet when it rains. My cousin Jesse is really quite messy, with stuff with stuff dripping off, her ch off his chin, the food on his face looks so out of place. There's more on the outside than in. Oh my, I just have something stuck in my eye. It's making it a little hard to read. All right, let's see. Hopefully that's... Hopefully that's better. Uncle Mo. My Uncle Mo has a big mustache. It's bushy as can be when he stands up straight and tall. He looks just like a tree. Uncle Keith. My Uncle Keith has great big teeth. He can eat corn really fast. My Grandma Rose has a really big nose. When she sneezes, it's more like a blast. Uncle Larry. My Uncle Larry is really quite hairy. We, wiggle e we giggle each time that he passes. We try not to stare, but he looks like a bear wearing shorts and goofy sunglasses. Aunt Bro Auntie Brooke. My Auntie Brooke just loves to cook. From, from turkey to cookies to bread, when she makes spaghetti, you'd better get ready. For meatballs the size of your head, she once made a cake as big as a lake. A cement truck stirred up the batter she put on the icing. That, that was so enticing. With, her, with the oar from a boat and a ladder. Ah. That looks like a hard cake to make. Oh, I'm gonna pass one. Grandma, my grandma puts on lipstick. It's bright and red like a rose. Because she cannot see so well, it ends up on her nose. Oh no. Granddaddy, 
It sounds kind of sappy, but it makes me happy. To sit in my granddaddy's lap, he tickles, I giggles, and wiggles like crazy. And sometimes we just like to nap. Summer days, a grasshopper hops, a windmill stops, a bee buzzes along kissing flowers. These summer days are perfect in ways except for afternoon showers. Escape, how happy are balloons that finally get away? Escape from little hands that tried to make them stay. Where do they guide? Where do they go, I wonder, with no map to guide them? To heaven, I would guess, where little angels ride them. Pretend. I sometimes pretend that my bed is a sled. My floor isn't carpet, it's ice cream instead. I sometimes pretend that my bed is a fort. My job is to watch and send a report. I sometimes pretend that my bread that my bed is a whale. I ride on his back, cross the oceans we sail. I sometimes pretend my bed is a cave. I I huddle inside from the snow I am saved. I sometimes pretend that my bed is a rocket. I soar past the moon towards the planet Woosocket. Right? Yeah, Woosocket. Huh. I sometimes pretend that my pillow that my pillow is you. I hug it so tight till the nighttime is through. Bobo by. On a tire swing, Bobo sat, swinging very high. He thought he'd let go of the rope. Tell Bobo bye bye. Sharing a bed. Sharing a bed with your cousins is not the easiest thing. They toss and they turn, they giggle and snore, and sometimes they just like to sing. Well, that's not very good to do when you're when you're trying to sleep. All right, I'm probably going to make this one a little smaller. There we go. In the night, tick tock goes the clock hanging on the wall. Dink dink goes the sink dripping across the hall. Clop clop go the shoes. I hear my daddy walking. Ring ring goes the phone. I hear my mama talking. I need a drink of water, so down the hall I creep. I hear my mother calling, why aren't you asleep? All right, and that was Dirt on My Shirt. And that was all the stories I have for today. Thank you guys for reading with me. I hope you guys have a good day.